President Clinton and I talked about what we could do to create jobs and to take on the challenge of climate change and how working people could step up and invest where banks and Wall Street had failed. Uh, in 2011, the labor movement committed as part of the Clinton Global Initiative to help facilitate $20 million in investment in energy efficient retrofits to stoke the market for commercial and industrial energy retrofits. And we said that we would retrofit our headquarters, that we would lead by example. And so here we are today. We will create more than 30,000 hours of skilled construction work. We will lower our carbon consumption and we will improve the functions and comfort of this building. We spend a billion dollars a year of our own money training and upgrading the skill sets of the American craft workforce. And we stand ready to train the next generation in every city in this country. As we tell our story and demonstrate the investments make sense, create jobs, and save money in the long run. We are talking about harnessing the strength of pension funds, of teachers, of nurses, of firefighters, and other workers to rebuild our country and to create the infrastructure that America needs. The AFL-CIO Executive Council decided there was no better way to demonstrate labor's commitment to engine energy retrofits than doing it here and doing it at home at the AFL-CIO headquarters with 100% union labor and 100% American-made equipment. That is the way the labor movement walks its walk. This is a big deal. We can create jobs that pay above average wages, that do things that need doing, that will be benefiting the next generation for 30 or 40 years, that actually have a self-financing mechanism. And I will, you know, and the AFL-CIO, in this case, is set an example of being the best business people in America. And I hope a lot of people will follow their lead. Thank you very much. <laughs>